Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> I'm Jacob. I'm Karina. And I'm Julia. I forgot for a second the cadence of. <laughs> <laughs> We've only been doing this show the show for years. <laughs> I, are you okay? <laughs> I like that one. It, it, it surprised me. A little yeah. different. A little we should different. be more meek. <laughs> you know what happened to Jacob? He got taken over by the spirits. The spirits. The spirits. Oh, the spirits. so scary. Jacob's Glad. turning into a cryptid. <laughs> I think Julia's turning into Elmer Fudd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning into a wascally wabbit. <laughs> the spirits. <laughs> uh, we're drawing cryptids? <clears throat> Sort of. Okay. We actually got a suggestion. <laughs> I wish someone would explain. It's from the Droppy Patreon Discord. You Whoa. may have heard of it. Mm. No. From SJ Minervino, who said, also, I don't know why it starts with also. Maybe they had said something before this that um, I didn't that I didn't record. That. Yeah, that doesn't count. But they said also for spooky season, make up cryptids for your hometowns. Ooh. Ooh. So we're gonna invent new cryptids yeah. that, <laughs> that coincide with our very own hometowns. Okay. I don't know why, but saying hometown cryptid, maybe because I've been watching some rom coms lately. But you know when they're just like, this is a just a normal hometown boy, <laughs> hometown cryptid. Yeah. It's like, a hometown cryptid. And a you woman just who's love. obsessed with her career. Blah. <laughs> a woman who wants to be successful without a man. What? This man will change that. <laughs> this cryptid will yeah. change her. <laughs> She'll never go back to the big city. Well, I'd like to imagine that the cryptid comes in and they're like, actually, you can like have both or you can still have the career. It's fine. And you're like, what? No. <laughs> so, Nathan. Yeah. You're... You're drawing a cryptid. For Bethesda, Maryland. For Whoa. Bethesda, Maryland. So obviously there has to be some sort of crab element. Oh, it's a crab tid. It's a crab tid. Yes. Let me see those crab tits. <laughs> but maybe he's got like <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore I'm just gonna ignore Jacob. <laughs> No joke lands better than when we say something and there's a beat and then Nathan completely ignores you. I can't believe he disregarded me entirely. I think what I said was important. Say it again. I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> Must not have been that important then. Another sign of a good joke. When you can't repeat. Yeah, when you refuse to repeat it when given the chance. I think it was so impactful the first time. If I said it again, it would derail the whole episode. Okay. Well, that's so thoughtful of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so Nathan's drawing something out of spore Thank right you. now, and I love that. It's sort of, it's sort of giving Ojama a little it bit. It is kind of giving Ojama. Ojama. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Anytime you start with the little stock eyes, I think of, hi, how are you? But no, this is an Ojama. And they look tired. Yeah. This is an aged Ojama. Yeah, they're like squinty a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Like their but, eyelids are heavy. Yeah, but they're content. Yeah, it, what's your thinking going on here, Nathan? Yeah. Explain yourself. Explain yourself right now. Well, explain yourself and explain Bethesda, Maryland. Please. Uh, well, Bethesda, Maryland, it's it's sort of a, a city <laughs> slash suburb in Maryland. Uh-huh. Oh. That's so fascinating. <laughs> so, Tell me more. So I'm thinking <laughs> sort of like a, a crab <laughs> guy. A uh <-huh>. crab <laughs> Sort of a crab guy. But he's not crabby. He's pretty happy. Yeah, he's pretty happy. Is his name sort of a crab guy? Like that's how they refer to him? I think his <laughs> I think the, the cryptid name that he that he has is is Club Crab. Club Crab. <laughs> I think he's he's sort of He goes clubbing? He's he goes he goes uh country clubbing. So oh, this, oh. this crab is rich. He's sort of a rich crab. Uh, Wait, this crab's name isn't Beth Esda. Nathan are, is the crab's name are, Beth Esda. Are they are they supposed to be named after our is is no. a cryptid no. ever no. named? No. So it's, no, no, it's never been the case. No, but this this crab is not named Beth Esda. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be dumb. 
<laughs> it was just right there. Oh, chiseled. Damn. Yeah. All right. So, well, what makes him a cryptid? Well, he's he's sort of got like a crab's head. <laughs> and, but is he like calm? It seems like he's commonly seen. Like he just like yeah. goes to the country club. Yeah. Well, he's got. So, oh, they're just prejudiced because he has, he looks different. Because he has a crab's head. <laughs> yeah, he's got a crab's head, and then oh god. <laughs> Tennis yeah. racket. Hands. Anybody down for some tennis? He's got a tennis racket hand, and you then think maybe he's ever spanked anyone with that hand. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> wow, <laughs> he's in the room. <laughs> oh my god. He's kind of the opposite of a cryptid in that he's always around. Yeah. He, like yeah. can't get rid of this guy. That's his cryptid power. Yeah. If he if he shows up. And he says, anybody down for some tennis? And you say no, he will spank you. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the cryptid story. Like, really wrong. hard. Yeah. He does not hold back. Maybe. I don't like how long that's getting. Oh, oh. it's a golf club. Yeah, that's got to be long. It's got to be long. Anybody down for some sport? <laughs> <laughs> for some if you say If you say yes, he spanks you. If you say no, he beats you on the head with his club. <laughs> it's like that toilet woman story. What's the toilet woman story? It's that story? Japanese one. Hanako? Where, um, Isn't she called Hanako? I don't know. Where she offers you like the red toilet paper, or the blue toilet paper, and you have you you there's no good choice. Am I remembering this right? I think that I sounds have, familiar. I have to no me. idea what I just, you're talking about, but Nathan, why do I feel like you don't want to participate? Today? <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain why this is a country club crab? <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm 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 just drawing a, a Bethesda Maryland cryptid like the episode we're doing, but I just don't know what the toilet paper has to do with anything. Well, it's it's, it's related like, to the Japanese cryptid, yeah. okay. the toilet one, the toilet one. In that he also offers you a choice of which there are no good answers. Yeah. I see. Yeah, you either you either have to play tennis with him or get spanked or get beaten. To death with a golf club. Oh, yeah. He doesn't play golf. No, that's purely a weapon. If he starts to lose the the tennis match, he goes, ooh, anybody up for some steamed clams? I'm getting my butt steamed. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, Julia, you really sort of resonate with this guy. I do. <laughs> Oh, my butt's getting smoked. <laughs> oh I'm a God. smoked crab today. Oh. My butt's getting smoked. <laughs> He's always saying my butt's getting smoked. My butt's getting steamed. My butt's getting smoked. Yeah. My ass is getting cooked. And you Ooh, don't... You, you grilling me, friend. You grilling me. Grilling my tush. I'm my feeling absolutely tushy. cooked today. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think um I think this is it. I think he has unfair advantage in tennis because he has so many he can scuttle sideways. That's like yeah. what you do in tennis. <laughs> yeah. you scuttle His sideways. Lateral, movement. <laughs> His yeah. lateral movement's great. It's incredible. Yeah. But maybe his forward and back movement is not as good. Oh, that's how you get him. Yeah, you got to do some drop like shots. drop shots right at the net. You got to do drop shots right at oh, <laughs> drop shot right at the net again. My butt's getting <laughs> sautéed. <laughs> You're deep frying my anus. <laughs> Ouchie! Ouchie! My butt. Also, yes, I remembered correctly. It's a it's a ghost. It's a ghost. The ghost that like sits in the bathroom, female bathroom. He asks victims a series of questions before killing them. Oh. So there's no winning against Does that. Does he always that kill guy. them? Um, so Is there a way uh, to win? So you get offered toilet paper, red or blue. If you choose red, um, slits your throat. Oh. Or okay. decapitates with a knife. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like red. If you choose blue, strangles you yep. until face turns blue. Okay. Um, okay. A lot of neck-based yeah. badness uh, going on. 
If you choose another color, the floor cracks open and a pair of hands drags the victim into hell. Oh. <laughs> the right. only way to escape this ghost and ultimately survive is by choosing no color. However, to this day, there's no method to completely defeat or kill um, Akamanto. Has anybody tried pooping directly on him? Oh. I'm sure. I'm sure that wouldn't work. <laughs> Just sort of aim your... Poop like at a him. projectile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what if you Listen, just like leave? Desperate just, like, times. Pretend you didn't hear him. I guess the I guess the implication is that you just don't choose a color and then you don't wipe and you Damn. just get out of there. That's awful. With, a, with a poopy butt. With a poopy butt. Yeah, but you live. I can't tell what's worse. Yeah, I guess I'd rather go to hell. <laughs> Drag me to hell. I am going with poop on my butt all day. If I saw this crab anywhere. I would poop my butt and go to hell. <laughs> Join the club, bud. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, so this is the the Maryland crab tid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, club crab. Club crab. Yeah, and he's just always at the club. He's always at the club, and he's always <laughs> talking about his butt. Yeah, <laughs> I think maybe his his cryptid like. Aura comes from the fact that, like, once he starts going to the country club, like, he just never leaves, and eventually they have to shut the entire business down. Oh, yeah. And then, because he, then he, he appears at another club. Yeah. Yeah. And you just hope it's not yours. Yeah. You hope it's the club of your competitor. <laughs> yeah. I pay my membership dues. <laughs> How? Where but, do you get money from, bud? But you make my everyone butt. uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an OnlyFans. <laughs> Catch me on OnlyFans. You can yeah. see my butt. Getting, getting cooked. <laughs> yeah, getting cooked. <laughs> juicy, crab. juicy crab. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> Subscribe for more crab meat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's my turn now. Wow. And I, boy, do I have one. <laughs> boy. I boy I for you. Boy boy I, boy comma boy comma <laughs> me. <laughs> um so I I knew straight out the gate mm -hmm. what mine was going to be. So in in Marietta, Georgia, yeah, mm -hmm. there's a famous landmark. Oh my God. I know what it is. He talks about it all the time. <laughs> all the time. He huh? wakes up and he does a morning <laughs> prayer to this landmark. <laughs> And he goes, thank God. Yeah, but you leave out the part where um, he talks about it throughout the night in his sleep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> talk about it when I sleep. Talk about it when I wake. It's the big chicken. It's the big chicken. The big chicken. It's the big chicken in Marietta, Georgia. It's a KFC. Uh-huh. Is it an actual KFC? It's an actual KFC in okay. Marietta, uh -huh. and it's got a big chicken. It is really uh, cute. Oh, that is cute. I was going to ask if it was a cock or a yeah. hen. It's a it's just a big chicken. It's sort of a geometric chicken. Yeah, it's a geometric, yeah. a very shapey chicken. And so, I like to imagine that the big chicken is the cryptid. Oh. Yeah. Oh, does it like come alive? And that and at a certain, you know, day of the month when the moon is doing something, Unique. Yeah, we're not uh -huh. sure what though. Yeah, we haven't tracked it down exactly what the moon has to be doing. <laughs> yeah, moon's hard to find. Um, the big chicken comes alive and it it crosses the road. Oh, wh <laughs> why? Whoa. why? Why does it do that? No we don't knows. know. That's the thing. That's the cryptic part. Yeah, yeah, that's the scariest part is that we don't know why it crosses the road. Scientists, philosophers, they've been trying to figure out for years, decades, maybe even centuries. <laughs> It's a very ominous. Oh, <laughs> it just yeah. sort of like sprouts legs out from underneath. Yeah. <laughs> Does it have like slappy feet, or because it's metal, it's like really scary? Oh. Um. Uh. Well, it's like it's like chicken feet. Yeah. Chicken feet, but the leg is. Sort of. It's going sideways. It's it's strong. It's very strong. It's like a dino. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of room up in there. Oh yeah, for the leg to retract. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing else in there. Yeah. It's just it's just room for the leg. I meant to ask, uh, Nathan. Yeah. Does does Maryland slash Bethesda have a cryptid already? Mm. Oh okay. Well, because <laughs> you know, 
I don't know if this counts as a cryptid, but for for Jacob, it could have easily been the devil went down to Georgia. Oh, yeah, just the devil. The devil is the cryptid. <laughs> <laughs> the, the form that the devil takes when he goes down to Georgia. I mean, yeah. there's there's Jersey devil also. That's a different that's a different that's devil. A different yeah, that's devil. not that's not the devil. That devil is not in the Bible. No. The Jersey Devil. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, I, I did Jesus zero. Would never go to New Jersey. <laughs> I did zero research. I'm gonna look this. it up. Yeah. See if there's any Maryland cryptids. I, I bet. I bet there's some sort of. There's bet, gotta be. Yeah. Come on. Come on. There's it's gotta be. Was Skunk Ape Maryland or where? Where does Skunk Ape live? Isn't Skunk Ape in like Virginia or something? Oh, okay. Yeah. You have the Goat Man? We have the Goat the Man. The Goat Man. Ooh. You have Goat Man. You have Chessie. Kenny Chessie? <laughs> Kenny Chessie. Is that, Chessie? Is that, is that, is that a cat? Chesapeake Bay Nessie? It's a sea monster rumored to patrol the <laughs> <Rumored>. Potomac. <laughs> the Potomac. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, the creature's name is lifted from Nessie. Yes. Nessie and, and Chess. Oh yes. my God. You have the kiss. Snally Gaster. Uh, Y'all are being silly. Can we? <laughs> Maryland is silly. Let's it's let's just what they're like. Let's explore the Snally Gaster. Yeah. Is that and what is that? <laughs> it's a uh, it's and a chimera. <laughs> Oh. Between uh, a dragon, a bird, and most peculiarly tentacles coming out of its mouth. Oh, oh that's cool. Yo, that is peculiar. Yeah, but those are all th these are a all like bird, Maryland a dragon and tentacles. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, but that's that's Maryland about? at large. This the the <sighs> crab man <laughs> club crab. Let me see if there's like Bethesda. a Bethesda. <laughs> Is just Bethesda. Bethesda, not crimes. Here's the colonel. <laughs> the Bethesda cryptid is that one McDonald's that SPX is always right next to. It's just always there. You're always drawn to it. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just do a little foreshortened version of him over here. Yeah. <laughs> the, all, the all seeing faces. This of... one looks a little angry. Yeah. But it's not. It's normal. It's normal. It's just it's just a trick of the light. Yeah, it's the angle. Like his runes of power. It's just the kernel. And then this is the street. <sighs> obviously. The yeah. street that's being crossed. Yeah. Well, it, it, is he? Crossing it, or is he sort of coming down? The... He's he's going sideways. Oh, he's he's crab walking. Yeah, he's cra <laughs> crab walking. Oh, you uh, you walk cool like I do. Uh huh. And this is the moon, and it's in a phase. <laughs> We're not sure which phase the moon is in. Whoa. Do you too have an OnlyFans? <laughs> cluck, cluck. <laughs> Time is a ticking. Get on that. Oh, oh no. Care for a round of uh, bocce? <laughs> <laughs> That's all it says. I'm not a fan of badminton. There's too many drop shots. <laughs> 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 I like this. Yeah, they're buds. They hang out. Yeah, I love how squiggly that leg is. Yeah, it's I really love good. The big legs, so cute. Yep. Yep. Just uh, you know, dramatic. Oh. <laughs> so when you're driving down the street, you get them in your headlights. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh my god, oh god, oh, god. oh no, oh, oh no, oh, oh god, shit, shit, it shit. saw me, it's looking, <laughs> it's coming. Oh it god, what knows. phase of the moon is it? So we know for later. Oh god, I can't tell the phases of the moon. Why is the moon so blurry? <laughs> <laughs> it knows that I know. <laughs> it obscures the moon. <laughs> Jacob, I love the big chicken it's cryptid. Cute. Yeah. What's its name? The big, big chicken. The big chicken. It's oh, the yeah. big chicken. The cryptid. Okay. Everyone knows about the big chicken, but the fact that it crosses the road is the cryptid aspect oh, okay. of the big chicken. I love it. Thank you. Karina? Okay. What are you drawing a cryptid for? Houston? Houston. Houston, Texas. It's pronounced Houston. Um, <laughs> eat my ass and taint. <laughs> Both? 
Eat yeah. my ass and taint. <laughs> <laughs> In one big bite, please. But or shut sure the to, fuck up. <laughs> be sure to cook it first. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to think of like what what screams Houston to me, and it's Houston. Uh, ha 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 ha. <laughs> Jacob screams Houston to you. Just yeah, the cryptid then. is Houston. I wish he wouldn't. I mean, Jacob. No, like Houston is a cryptid. It's too big. Even bigger than the big chicken. Yeah, it's wow. fucking massive. No one can know all of it. No one's ever seen yeah, all of Houston. Yeah, and they'll be like, "Oh my god, have you been to this cool store?" And I'm like, no. And they're like, it's in Houston. I'm like, no way. Where? And they'll be like, uh, it's out past Katy. And I'm like, that's not Houston. And it's like, well, yeah, it is. <sighs> Houston just goes. Houston's too big. It sprawls. I do feel like it would be an SCP to have a creature that's so big it is inconceivable. Yes. Somehow. I mean, I'm sure that like already is traffic an SCP. Thing looks like where it's like the what? A little traffic like. When the roads are under construction. Oh, yeah. Like, like they are in Houston. Me. Yeah. Without looking at a real one for confirmation. That yeah. looks right to me. Yeah. It feels right. I just, I imagine Houston, because once, th so this, his name is uh, Outer Loop. <laughs> He's outside <laughs> the loop. And once you're outside the loop, you're just like, where does Houston end? You Whoa. just keep seeing this guy like on the road. And you're like, <laughs> well, there's some construction, so that must still be Houston. <laughs> and if if you follow for him for too long, he um he drowns you. <laughs> oh, okay, it's not really thematically appropriate. He just likes to do it. Yeah, cause cause that's the spirit of Houston. I don't know. There's so many like personal cryptids for me in Houston. Like this, like the area of the Galleria that's old <laughs> that can only be accessed through the Macy's, but people still go there. I think. Is there anything like open in that Galleria, or is it just like a empty, abandoned? Okay, so like of... in the Houston Galleria, um, there's like the entire actual mall, mm -hmm. and I never go there anymore because there's too much traffic. Fair. But um, there's like an old part of the Galleria that I remember from when I was a kid, and there's like still stuff open there, but um. It, you can only you can't you can mostly access it through a Macy's, and there's like nothing there, but people still go there, just to like vibe. I mean, I think there's like a barbecue place there that maybe the Macy's employees go to, but Ooh. one I haven't been there in years. But the last time I was there, there was this weird art gallery there that had superhero art, and there was this really good painting of Manny Pacquiao punching Batman. <laughs> Sure. And I was like, where did this come from? And no one was in the gallery. It was empty. And half the things had the lights off. Yeah, that's a cryptid for sure. Yeah. yeah. That's I a cryptid so. experience. Maybe the barbecue place is the cryptid. Yeah. Ooh. It's what keeps the it's the heart of the area, it keeps it alive. I like the casual nature of this guy. Yeah. He's wearing a sleeveless shirt because it's hot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Way too hot to be wearing. Yeah, I was kind. like, I should do like the Slender Man like, <laughs> like suit. And I'm like, but he'll sweat <laughs> and then pass out from heat stroke because Houston is a cursed place. Yeah, we want him to take care of himself. Yeah. Yeah. I hope everyone is doing okay down there. At time of recording, it's still the heat wave. Ugh. Slash drought. I do not envy those Houstonians. I just, I can never complain about the weather up here. <laughs> no, well, I'm, complaining, I'm complaining about the weather here because it's too wet right yeah, now. Yeah, we, we've gotten all the rain. Y'all y'all yeah. haven't gotten any rain, we get rain. And it's always humid and I'm never going to be happy. <laughs> so we're in slides? <laughs> yeah, it's too hot. It's too hot. It Adidas slides. It is 90 degrees in the dark. Like, let him wear his Adidas slides. <laughs> <laughs> the part that's the scariest of him is that when you try to run away from him, he's, he can keep up in the slides. Yeah. And you're yeah. like, how are you doing this? Well, you drive away and you think you've lost him, but then you see him approaching uh, from in, up ahead. From up ahead. Yeah. Oh. And you're like, didn't we just... He's also kind of large. Like here's Oh, he's in the middle of the road too. Yeah. Just like the big chicken. But he's not to say. Yeah, he's but not he's, crossing. He's just there and like <laughs> You have to cross around him. Yeah. And you're just like 
I think I think I'm still. I should have drawn mine in the middle of the road. <laughs> Everyone draws it in the middle. Of the road. They all hang out in the middle of the road. Um, but yeah, no, like like uh, I lost I lost what I was thinking. I have no. Thoughts. I like the idea that they would go on a road trip and like meet up with each other. Like this this cryptid would like go on a trip and go meet the big chicken. And they would hang out and then it's Elaine. Go see the Maryland crab. Yeah, they're friends. They they're mutuals online. <laughs> <laughs> and they met up. They met on and, OnlyFans. Yeah, and they met their mutuals on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> um Oh, I just realized I missed a joke with the crab. What? Do it now. Do it now. Okay. <clears throat> oh God. Boy, you've got me cooked. I'm a regular crab cake. <laughs> Mm. Or, or well, alternatively, okay. alternatively, or... he's on OnlyFans and he's like, "Everybody ready to see some crab cake?" And it's his butt. He loves to. The he crab uses cake that joke. one yeah. so much. Yeah, he's yeah. really. Have, have you heard that one before? <laughs> yes, he did it on last month's. Exclusive. Well, here it is. Uh -huh. Here they are. My cake. It's Eight. my birthday. I hope someone makes me a crab cake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shows whole. <laughs> <laughs> That's a highway. I, I try not to look directly at highways, so this isn't what it looks like. Shut up. Close enough. <laughs> Those are its own cryptids. Yeah. I like uh, the idea that this cryptid makes you think that he's doing like a Silent Hill thing to you where you can never leave Houston, like he's looping you back around. But in reality, Houston's just really big. <laughs> Houston and so you're just is, driving yeah. normally and he's doing nothing but freaking you out. I remember there was just like... He's just like, vibing. There's just so many things. I'll always put it this way. Like, it, there was like a Texas souvenir store in, in the mall one time. And they had a Houston calendar. And it had like Galveston in it. And I'm like, that's not Houston. You're making that up. You're <laughs> lying. <laughs> okay, and then... Get out of here, Galveston. Yeah. You're not Houston. Stop trying to make Galveston into Houston. Like, that's its own city. It's what are you talking about? Happen. We're not doing it. Okay. And it just... This is what it feels like leaving Houston. <laughs> it's just a mess. It's just a mess of infrastructure. And... um. He, he, he see, he oh. sees you. Yeah, that that's a fucked up thing to put on a road sign. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, sorry, what exit is this? He sees you. <laughs> oh, it's Bucky. <laughs> Bucky sees you. Yeah. Or the cryptid sees you. No, it's Bucky. That's just a regular <laughs> Bucky sign. <laughs> Bucky's the true Texas cryptid. Yeah. Last time I was in Houston, I almost bought like a home decor sign that said the eyes of Bucky are upon you. Oh, hell yeah. Because I thought it'd be so funny to put that in my bathroom. And I was like, gosh, I don't need that. Um, but someone does. And you left it for them. Yeah. That was very generous. He sees all. Exit. <laughs> uh, let's do like 468 miles. <laughs> 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 this is what it fucking looks like. It is kind of nightmarish. This is I've like never been. Texas Gothic. <laughs> You're just like trying to get somewhere and you end up like in this like hellscape of car roads, car car roads. <laughs> car roads. <laughs> I'm sick of all these car roads. <laughs> it didn't have to be this way. I just looked up um, Georgia cryptids because mm -hmm. I realized I, I didn't do that. Yes. Number one on this list is the Georgia Raptor. The Georgia Raptor? Yeah. Like a Velociraptor? Yeah, dinosaur-like creature. Huh. Dinosaur-like creature. That it's, has been it's seen. It's sort of like a dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaurs Hold on. love this it creature. It says it's been seen roaming around the wooded areas of the Peach State? I don't think so. I don't think anyone's seen it. It's been it's, seen. It's been seen. People can see stuff all yeah, the time. I, you, you know, Bucky sees all. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, <laughs> someone's probably seen it. I mean, maybe they just saw the big chicken and thought it was a raptor because a, a yeah, chicken is kind of like a yeah, dinosaur. Of its big, yeah, 
big legs. Yeah. It's thick thighs. Yeah. Saving lives. <sighs> <laughs> okay, yeah, this is this is like the the outer loop cryptid. I love him. He's so chill. <laughs> he like... keeps leading you places, but <laughs> and you think like he's trapped me in a purgatory of highways, and it's literally just that's just Houston. <laughs> that's just Houston, my guy. <laughs> he's just there. <laughs> yeah, he's... he just hangs out there. <laughs> but like, that's sorry. just what it's like. <laughs> you can't leave. Huh? This is what I feel like whenever I go back to Houston. I'm just like amazing food love to see my family i feel like i'm wasting away inside of a car for at least 50 hours of the trip it's great <laughs> there's a restaurant in bethesda that was called houston's and it was my favorite restaurant what they serve houston's w exists in georgia too whoa what the hell well they it's not called houston's anymore it's the same restaurant it's called houston's. but it's 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 called the woodmont grill now wow which is I think a worse name. It is a worse name. <laughs> but um, they still have the ribs that I like. Houston's, okay. my Houston's also had really good ribs. <laughs> it had to be the same chain, right? I don't, I didn't know it was a chain. Well, because it's, it's not Houston's anymore. It's the Woodmont Grill and they still do the ribs the same way. Well, maybe they changed it in Georgia too. I don't know. <laughs> I wow. just want to say before Karina is officially done that there is a cryptid called the Houston Batman. And there is a line in this thing that I'm reading about the Houston Batman, and it says, uh, the Lubbock Evening Journal for May 22, 1953, bore the headline, Phantom Attacker Strikes in Full View of Two Officers. And it's this giant Batman. Nice. It's the, is, is that what happens to Batman after he gets Why punched by the... Manny Pacquiao in the gallery? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. It's all coming together. <laughs> Why were they writing about that in Lubbock anyway? <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Get in Me. Here. I'm going to make a general Long Island cryptid. <laughs> for all of Long Island. Yeah, Not for a specific all of Long, Island. Long Island cryptid. General yeah. Long Island cryptid reporting for duty. No one liked that joke, huh? <laughs> oh, I wasn't paying Sorry, attention. I was thinking about my, my <laughs> the beginning of my drawing. This is the episode where everyone ignores what I say. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking about my other personal cryptids in Houston, and they're the armadillo demon next to Good Company Barbecue, and the portrait of David Beckham. I always saw at Half Price Books, and then it just disappeared when I thought I was going to buy it. Uh. I was trying to think of something to say in response, but I was too slow. <laughs> I, I'm reading about Houston's restaurant. Uh -huh. uh huh. And apparently, there's there's 44 locations, mm -hmm. and a lot of them they've changed the names to local names. <gasps> it's a lie. So like I think it might have been in. the same Houston's as wow. my Houston's. They're just lying. But I think they're just lying. The sad thing is, they used to do these really good um, chicken fingers that they they stopped doing. What made them so good? They were just like really light. Like the batter was really light. Like it was, um, I don't know. It was just like my favorite, my favorite chicken fingers. Damn, Nathan, Alec I have confirmation. Oh, mm -hmm. I went to Hillstone Restaurant Group's web website, mm -hmm. website, and what do I see here at the bottom? Woodmont Grill. Woodmont Grill. It's the same it's Houston. The same. We were looking wow. at the same night, Houston. Wow. <laughs> and it was one of my favorite restaurants as a kid too. Damn. I still make my family take me back there when I visit home. All of my favorite restaurants from when I was a kid closed because Houston is a wasteland that eats and destroys <laughs> everything. <laughs> Damn. Rip 59 Diner. I was there like every weekend in the senior year of high school for no goddamn reason. <laughs> they shouldn't give teenagers cars. <laughs> <laughs> That was me and Waffle House. <laughs> Waffle House, 3 a.m. You could find us there. Yeah. Had exactly one friend with nothing to do and a car, and we would just go to the Galleria, be like, well, this is stupid, and then go to 59 Diner, and then eat cheese fries. Hmm. Who's, who's this? So Long Island has, has um, you know, a number of, of cryptids and things like that. 
Uh, one that was recent, fairly recent anyway, was the past couple of years, is that uh, they found a coyote <gasps> roaming. It's not a cryptid. That's Hold just on. that's an animal. <laughs> yeah, um, there was a coyote that was roaming the streets, and the poor guy was just like really freaked out. And oh. they got him home. Oh, this mouth. They rescued oh, him. Friend. Um, but Long Island has a lot of, of wildlife that just kind of wanders onto Long Island. Sure. Um, <laughs> but it's a um mall. It's a it's where malls go to die. It's just filled with malls and diners. <laughs> That's Long Island. <laughs> so I want like a uh a like wildlife monster that wanders into dead malls that still have like the one store you like. And then also this thing is there. Yeah. 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 Also at the store. Buying the last <laughs> of the thing that you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> And he turns around while paying and looks at you like this. <laughs> yeah, and then skitters away. <laughs> <laughs> there was a mall uh, where I grew up, and it was like a mall that was built in in my lifetime. Um, and they they kept being like, "This is going to be the new awesome stuff." And it was like only a couple blocks away from this pretty like famous mall, and they mm -hmm. were like, "This is this is going to have huge." You know, it's going to change the game of malls. Anyway, the only stores that are open. <laughs> the game of malls. <laughs> <laughs> the only. It's a um, disappointing ending after such a promising start. The, game the, of malls. Yeah. Good last one. season. The only stores that are open in that mall now are uh, Dave and Buster's. Sure. And. Um, Panda Express and Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. My favorite stores. And the rest of it is just open. There is a Ferris wheel. No, merry-go-round in the middle. That's still an operation, I think. Huh. Damn. Yeah, I think mo mostly people just go there on really hot summer days to, uh, you know, cool off. It's just the way it is. You got nothing better to do? You go to the mall and you hope something fun happens. Yeah. You, and then it doesn't. So you, you hit, go to 59 Diner. You hit all three. You hit the uh, the Cheesecake Factory, the Panda Express, and the Dave and Buster's. You call that the trifecta. Yeah. Yeah. A perfect day. A perfect day. And, and if you survive. <laughs> go in the morning. Panda Express for breakfast. Yeah. Then um, Ferris Wheel slash Merry-Go-Round. Yeah. All day, oh my God, and then you you get some you get your tickets you get one of those or it's not tickets now you get like a card at Dave and Buster's yep yeah yeah and you go and you 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 get all the the games you, you get, get all, the, all games. the games you do all the games you get every game and then when you're you're hungry again you ooh. eat twenty five hundred calories of pasta Alfredo yeah mm -hmm. at Cheesecake Factory and that's a perfect day. And then you text your husband that the um, fettuccine Alfredo it just tastes like what did I describe <laughs> it? Heavy cream and cheese. The heavy cream and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you describe the ingredients in fettuccine Alfredo. Yeah, you just list them. <laughs> Julia texted me that one time. And were you, you at a Cheesecake Factory? No, I was at an Applebee's. You were at an Applebee's. That's Julia somehow worse. Texted me saying that their fettuccine Alfredo tasted like it was just heavy cream and cheese. <laughs> you were losing your mind. <laughs> I was Girl, like, that's what it is. Why the fuck did you get fettuccine Alfredo at Applebee's? <laughs> So funny. I didn't know that. <laughs> I don't know. That I it was Hold up. That's a, that's a powerful, a powerful choice. Karina just hit her objection button in <laughs> Phoenix, right? Yeah. yeah. Hold it. <laughs> objection. You're lactose intolerant and <laughs> and at a, an Applebee's and have a hard time with heavy, rich foods. Yeah. And you were at an Applebee's. I wouldn't write off the lactose intolerance. I've said it before, and I'll say it every. Every time, every lactose intolerant person I know is ready <laughs> to risk it all at any <laughs> given moment. Oh yeah, <laughs> you bitches do not care. <laughs> 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 You're just like, 
look, I'll eat this. And as long as within an hour, I'm like in sprinting distance of a public toilet. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. It's fine. I'm allowed. <laughs> I love these legs, Julia. This is fun. So, I love him. Like Long a... Island also has a bunch of deer. Sure. So I want him to be. Oh, we're like also plagued by horseshoe crabs, <laughs> which we all know I love horseshoe crabs. Yeah. So Nature's I just bottom. want. I just want to combine all of Long Island's little creatures. This is fun. Into a strong dog. And yeah. it just like, if you're there after, or like as the mall is closing, you hear like a sloshing and this guy is dragging <laughs> himself out of like <laughs> the a Spencer's. puddle. Is he, is he wet? <laughs> well, because he's like, he's, he's also, crab. since he's a horseshoe crab, he's like dragging himself out the water. Out of like the mall fountain? Well, I imagine there's Ew. like, he just like makes, you just like see a puddle forming. Oh. And then he like drags himself out. It's a body part. Yeah. That's cool. Puddle is part of him. We also have a lot of, um, oh my God, I'm blanking on the the name of the fish. But there's this fish. Every tuna. time you go, what? Is it tuna? Tuna. It's not. It's like a fish you can't eat. Is it, um, is it a minnow? No. It's like really ugly. It has a lot of spikes on it. Rockfish. Like, rock yeah, fish? it's a rockfish. Oh. There's a lot of rockfish on Long Island. So I also want to give him some like rockfish. Oh, I was stuff. hoping I was hoping we could guess more fish. Oh. You're well, welcome. there we are guess, more we, fish we that you got, catch. We got rockfish. No, I mean it's we know it's rockfish. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty I didn't think we were gonna have an answer that was correct. <laughs> so I I'm pretty astonished. Yeah. Way to go, team. Wow. Yeah. I'm we, so proud of you guys. We guessed the fish. I'm gonna thank wow. you. That means a lot to me. I was about to say that one of the things that Houston has going for it is that it doesn't have deer, but honestly, it probably does in one of those amorphous areas of Houston. Yeah. That's more than an hour's drive, so I never go there. So no one's ever seen those areas. That's the crab shell on the back. Fun! Or is that just a that's big, a big rock leaf? Fish fin? Yeah, it's a rockfish fin. Rockfish fin. I like how you just see anything and assume it's a crab. We get it. <laughs> You're from Maryland. I don't think you get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Julia's closed the mouth. I oh, did. He's, he's doing small mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he has secrets. <laughs> he's hiding him. <laughs> he's holding a whole container of orange chicken from Panda Express in oh there. Oh my God, I'm so jealous. <laughs> I would crush some Panda Express right now. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Just thinking about eating at a mall makes me so hungry. If I didn't just drink like four cups of coffee with milk, I'd be way hungrier after all this good mall junk food talk. Yeah. Mm. Mall junk food's the best. I was going to say, why don't we order something like that for dinner? And then I thought that that would be like a disservice to all of like the good restaurants in this area. <laughs> like we, because we, we're in New York City. We have no shortage of like wonderful food options. We're mm -hmm. spoiled for choice. But, but sometimes. There's something so exciting about like anytime I'm doing an errand or like like commuting somewhere where there is a Panda Express, where I'm just like, that's it. That's I the one. Need it. I'm going in. Yeah, like anytime I go to the stupid downtown Brooklyn Target or like I'm taking the bus and have to go to Penn Station, like at least there's a Panda Express there. I can <laughs> get it on the way back. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. One of the things I'm just hits different. excited about, about me and Julia moving somewhere where we'll have a car now mm -hmm. Is that the fast food within the city is like really bad generally, yeah. but the fast food outside of the city is good again. Oh shit! And I'm excited to hit up a Taco Bell. Oh, like as soon as I have the opportunity yeah, to do there so. There is something about fast food in the city where I'm just like, like if Whataburger opened a Manhattan location, I'd be like, I'm not going there. That's cursed. Yeah, that's some dark sided shit. Yeah. But yeah, it's just something about it being in Manhattan makes it like evil. Same with the Dairy Queen. I've not been to a Dairy Queen in so long. I made 
Spencer take me when we were in Georgia. <laughs> I was just like, please! <laughs> I want a blizzard! <laughs> I love that shit. Because there's none, like, in the Houston city limits, like... Or, or what I uh, what I always assumed were the city limits. Like, they're really far, so I never get to go to them unless I'm, like, visiting family outside of the city. So, and I'm not going to the one in Manhattan. That's stupid. That's evil. I yeah. do, now that Jacob and I have a car, I do <sighs> want to bring you guys to All American, which is a place on Long Island. <gasps> we're All American. Whoa. <laughs> That's so crazy. What if, kind of place is it? If we go in there and say that 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 we are all American, will they will they like us? No, they probably get that all the time. They'll probably like spray us with Windex. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're just trying to do their damn jobs. Do like, they have okay. burgers? Yeah, what is it? It's a burger milkshake <gasps> place. It's like yeah. a classic. That uh, is all American. Yeah, 50s sort of spot. Yeah, wow. yeah. And it looks really cool. It's one of those like weird shaped uh, 60s buildings that's like, you know, like Ooh. you go in here and you like park your cars here. Oh, and they got the like overhang thing. Yeah. Oh like, my a, goodness. like a Sonic. Oops. Yeah, like, like a, a Sonic. Sonic. I would go there. That was another oh, yeah. place I went to with Spencer when we were in Georgia. Sonic? Yeah. And I was like so excited about it because I like never ate at Sonic growing up. Sonic is fine it was so painfully mid but i was just like <laughs> so excited about the idea yeah. of it new york didn't have a sonic until a couple of years ago they have a sonic yeah we have a sonic now where uh, uh long island uh, oh okay. um here's my this long island so cryptid fun. yeah i like this one i yeah. like this fella give him a little butt scratch did he have a name we give him a name. The mall. The mall. The mall guy. Walt. <laughs> his name's Tony. Whitman. Walt. Mall. Well, his name is Walt Whitman. <laughs> we have a mall called the Walt Whitman Mall. His um, name is famous poet Walt Whitman. <laughs> Wolf, Wolf Whitman. He's Wolf, Wolf Whitman. Wolf Whitman. Wolf Whitman. Let's go. Wolf Whitman. Uh, Whitman. Yeah. This is my Long Island cryptid. <laughs> anyway. He's really good. There's a high school in Bethesda named after Walt Whitman also. Well, Wolf Whitman can show up there, too. Yeah. yeah. You got to watch out. Hey, if you liked this, like and subscribe so you can see more of this kind of thing. It helps us out so much. Uh, what helps us out the most is supporting us on Patreon. It guarantees Please. basically that if anything uh, funky goes on, we will keep making stuff. Uh, so we really appreciate you supporting us through that. And also, it's got a bunch of benefits. Yeah. Uh, like, you can uh, talk to us on Discord. Yeah. And our Everything. Patreon exclusive Discord, like where we got the episode suggestion for today. Yeah. Uh, we also have merch at our DFTBA merch store. We also stream on Twitch where we take your suggestions live and we draw it and do our best. Uh, we stream every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. That's it. That's it. We're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. <laughs>